Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary, and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on Serie A, the top division here in Italy. It is Juventus, and they take on Empoli. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out, who will affect the game, and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And the starting lineup for Juventus. Wojciech Szczesny begins in goal. Andrea Radio starts alongside Paul Pogba in central midfield. And as for the attack, well, it has a bold look about it with three forwards listed from the beginning. Starting 11 for Empoli. Well, they're playing with four in midfield, but one of those central players will be slightly advanced of the other three. And his role is to find space behind the strikers and be the creative spark. And now they get the ball rolling. Akpa Akpro. It's Marin. Oh, lovely ball. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. A real room for improvement in front of goal where the visitors are concerned. They have, officially speaking, the worst attack in the league. Well, quite simply, away from home, they just don't get enough players into forward areas. They need to get the midfield players to make runs. They need the fullbacks to play higher up the field and the forwards to run behind the opposition. It has to change soon and it has to be today. Piazza. No, high quality defending. Team. Now someone has scored in one of the other matches. Let's find out exactly who. Alex Scott will tell us. It's a goal for Fiorentina. They've scored the opener here with 13 minutes played. There's no wasting time here, Derek. Now forgive me, Alex. This could be an opportunity. And this time it's in. Fabulous goal. And just look at the celebrations. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. It really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Fabiano Parisi. Roberto Piccoli. Patient build-up at the moment. Clears it away. Caputo 
And a decent delivery. That's all they can conjure for now. Well, there you have it. Juventus haven't had that much of the ball, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent... Well, wait a moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. And a goal here for Juventus. Surely bears to lose now. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And that's a great finish from Chiesa. 1v1 against the keeper. He never looked like missing, did he? That's a top-class finish. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. Well, trying to let them continue, but now he's gone back and awarded the free kick. <laughs> Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Inching towards the interval, and it's going with home advantage. Stuart, hang on, Derek, what a chance this is. And there it is, another goal, and surely there's no way back from this now. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. But in the end, it's far too easy to create the 2v1 against the keeper. What were the defenders trying to do? Nice finish, but poor defensively. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. Right, a scoring update for you from the Torino game. Who has found the net? Alex Scott will tell us. It's a goal for Inter. Sorry to jump in. It could be on for them here. And nicely parried away. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Well, no shortage of live action coming your way right here on EA TV. And Stuart and I looking forward to being with you for this match. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. So that will do it for the first half. And the visitors know they're going to have to up their game in the second, Stuart. Well, we talked about their lack of goals at the start of the game, but that hasn't been their main problem in the first 45 minutes. They've just not defended as a unit, and I can't see any way back for them into this game. And now they get the ball rolling. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Ball from the keeper, and they'll come again. Will he find the net? Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Well, one of the best leagues in the world, Serie A, and action from it coming up live here on EA TV. It's Empoli versus Milan. Pogba might want this. Well, clattered away. Locatelli. On to Chiesa. Really vital interception here. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Piazza. And saved by the keeper. 
Yet another tremendous save to add to the list. Right, just getting word that someone has scored in the Torino game, but who exactly? Let's hear about it from Alex Scott. And running in behind, a goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, as you can see here, all starts with a perfectly weighted ball in behind the defenders. But in the end, it's far too easy to break the 2v1 against the keeper. What were the defenders trying to do? Nice finish, but poor defensively. A lopsided contest, 4-0. And apologies to Alex for having to interrupt her. Just to confirm, Inter have scored in that game. And they're in front at the moment by two goals to one. And they're making a change. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Now, how about the short corner? Has a go. We're using his body to good effect. Determined defending. And the ball is in the net at the San Siro. Let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Spezia. It was a nice pullback, a low-driven shot. They couldn't do anything about that one. It's now 1-0 with 73 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. Just 10 minutes remaining here. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Well, they've decided to make a change. Di Maria now Pogba Di Maria well tremendous block and Quadrado beat it in able to deal with the threat Razvan Marin counter attacking very much an option position and still danger here well it could have been but for the offside flag And that is going to be that. Well, a tale of woe in terms of the scoreline as far as the visitors are concerned here. Well, we discussed their lack of goals before the game, but today they had defensive issues. And for me, the main problem was their reaction time when they lost possession. It was far too slow, which left the defenders too exposed to counter-attacks. 